Hi, I'm Celeste Barber. Get my memoir, Challenge Accepted, now on Audible. Why don't I just say like 50 words and you guys can just cut them into sentences. So the burp, then that straight to follow would be great. I mean, I have been in a courtyard with Gaga, so we can do these things. It's quite interesting how big it has become and how celebrated it is in the industry that I am mocking. And I, it's really nice. Like uh, this thing I was at last night was just all cream of the crop. And I was like, yeah, I mean, Lady Gaga was there and she was like, Celeste, I love you. And I was like, shut up. Just screamed that at her. It, it was amazing to see how it's kind of come offline a bit. I'm not just on Instagram doing funny photos anymore. I'm, it's fleshing out. I'm, hosting events and I'm at doing more stand-up. It's exactly what I want it to be doing. No one looks worse in those photos than I do. I'm not, and that's the, that's the aim. And it, you know, don't hate the player, hate the game type thing. It's a comment on this on society, not the individual. And they get that, they're smart, like they're and really attractive. But smart, yeah, like so hot. They are, those models, Joan Smalls stood next to me and I went, no, go over there. I was sitting on the stage presenting in a lounge chair and she presented and then came and stood next to me and I was like, no. And she was like, well, don't stand so close to me. She's so hot. It's like looking directly at the sun. It's unbelievable. Remember when I was younger and you and I would hang out all the time without a care in the world? <laughs> There was a group of us, you, me, vodka, sometimes Frangelico would come to the party. Oh God, it was fun, remember? I'd dance on tables and you and vodka would make me feel like I was the most amazing person in the world, as true friends do. I'll never forget the warmth that Frangelico gave me on those cold nights. Have you spoken to Fran lately? I haven't seen him in years. God, they were good times. Just the awesome foursome. It was quite therapeutic to read it. I've been through some stuff in my life and kind of reading it, and I think when you read it all back to back like that, you think, oh, wow, it's quite, yeah, it's quite confronting, but I think in a really healthy way. I felt that I learned about myself as well. I remember reading it going, oh, oh yeah, that's right. Like I'd almost forgotten about some things. So it was quite a cathartic experience for me, actually. There was a lot of tears. People should listen to Challenge Accepted as an audio book. It's really funny. It's it's a fun, it's fun to listen to. Like when I was reading it, I had a lot of fun doing it and I kind of do all character voices and I, I really invest in it and, and I hope people I hope people get a lot out of hearing me read my story. That was good. That last part was good, you guys. Really good. You lift me in the seat, yes? No. <laughs> Hangs out with Gaga once. <laughs>